How to calculate the payback period in Excel. You might develop such free cash flow projections when analyzing an investment project in Excel. You will have an investment, and then you have a payback cash flow or profits from your investment. What is the payback period? The payback period is the number of years it takes to repay your original investment. We don't have a formula for this in Excel, so the question is how to calculate this in Excel. We do this in several steps. The first step is calculating the cumulative free cash flows, a running balance of the cash-ins and the cash-outs. Here, we can see that the payback period is between years 4 and 5. But if these cash flows changed, you can also see that the payback period would be moved between years 7 and 8. How can we apply, put up, or define a formula that does this calculation for us automatically? This brings us to step 2. We need to calculate using a helper calculation to keep track of the payback years. We start here with year 0, and we exclude that. But in year 1, we need to start tracking. If the cumulative balance is less than 0, we add 1 year it takes to reach payback. Otherwise, we keep the previous year. Doing this simple method, we get very close, but we are too low because we only get year 4, but we are not yet capturing the year 5 point. Our formula needs some correction. I marked these formulas to know which formulas I'm starting to change. I'm adding it here now, I will add a second condition. In the year when the payback is achieved, I will have several conditions to meet. This one needs to be negative. This one needs to be positive. I'm adding it here. This is the condition. If that's the case, I must calculate the pro rata year it takes to reach payback. What I do is I take this one and divide it by the annual cash flow achieved, and I add this here. Only this one is negative, so we want to divide 200 divided by 300. This is basically 0 0.666, 0 0.7. The payback to be calculated here should be 4.7. Now, let's move this formula forward and apply it backward, and here we go. It takes 4.7 years to reach payback. If you want to get this in a single number, we should give us the maximum of these calculations. That's it. We need step 1 to calculate the cumulative free cash flows. For step 2, we need to keep track of the payback years. We have two parts to this formula, the first part is to keep track of whether to add one year. Then, in the second part, if there is the year of payback, we do this calculation to figure out the digit after the comma. That's it. This is how we can calculate the number of years it takes to pay back your Excel investment. Visit our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.